What's going on YouTube? This is Big Mike. Welcome to Big Mike's Reactions. Man, we got ourselves a great one today. A true first time reaction and not just the song, but the video as well. So, before I get into what that is, let's talk about what we watched yesterday. We heard the very broody and moody classic song, Fast Car, by Tracy Chapman. But today, we have Rob and Fab, formerly Millie Vanilli, with a song that they did called We Can Get It On. I had only heard about this song recently from watching that amazing documentary, Millie Vanilli, my pick for the best documentary of the year. So, with that being said, their unfortunate failed album, Rob and Fab, had one song that had a produced music video, and that song is called We Can Get It On. So, I am dying to know what this song is like and the video. This is completely new, and this is my favorite kind of reaction. So, let us now don the old headphones as we now enjoy Rob and Fab with We Can Get It On on day 26th of my Black History Month reactions. Can't wait to see how this turns out. Thinking on this move way to get you to myself and you I get with you, I think you fly and your body's like ah, I'm getting close, you get it on right now Did I mess up? Oh. Shoot that game up oh. Thinking about the work you make me feel it's too much
Well, that was certainly something, wasn't it? I did not anticipate seeing Robin Fab. Didn't recognize it at first, but naked, sitting on a turntable. Although the cinematographer, whoever did this, did a good job casting everything in shadows. And this was a very, very fun song. It's very interesting to hear Rob, uh, I'm sorry, Fab, shout out Girl You Know It's True, because that's obviously, I mean, I could be wrong, but a reference to their hit song when they were Millie Vanilli. But this, this was a... Uh, I could see, I hate to say this, why this wasn't a big hit. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe it was a big hit in Europe. I don't know. But um, the damage had been done, of course, by the media. I mean, if you guys watch the documentary, you'll know everything. But it is interesting, I think, to hear their actual voices. Because I think when people listened to those songs they're obviously used to listening to the voices of john davis and charles shaw so hearing those voices of those other two people matched up with these guys and music videos like don't forget my number girl i'm gonna miss you blame it on the rain girl you know it's true it's interesting to hear a different voice come out of guys that look exactly the same as they did at this point less than a year ago so unless you were living under a rock you wouldn't know the difference but i do so it is an interesting experiment more than anything else if you personally ask me i could be a complete dick saying this i think they would have had better success had they waited a little longer than try to rebrand themselves as something so quick but then again it was a different time you know i mean in this day and age you screw up, you're all of a sudden a hero. It's like with, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race, losing is the new winning. You know, a lot of people today turn negativity into positivity because we have the ability to do that thanks to things like social media, constant interviews and everything else. So it was a different time and it's what they knew. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know. Maybe I should reach out to Fab. Maybe, uh, I can do an interview with him sometime. That would be a whole lot of fun because I really loved his dialogue and everything, not just in Millie Vanilli, but also the interview he did on DJ Vlad a few years ago that's just about the same length. It's about 90 minutes long. It's a great one. But regardless, as a fan of Millie Vanilli, and will always be, no matter what the circumstances, I can say this was a solid enough song for what it was. Experimental, but yet fun, all rolled into one. This was a a really good effort and it's a shame that this never did take off i really wish it would have but we can never really tr truly know the measure of success if we don't do something about it ourselves i don't know but no matter i hope you guys enjoyed listening to this as much as i did of course don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more reactions like this one and be sure to check back tomorrow on the 27th i've got a really really special one for us so i think you guys are really gonna like it a lot i'll see you guys tomorrow show lots of love and have a good day bye now